the walking pal. Thanks for returning that. Join me, Dean. The pizza's delicious. Sit down. It took you long enough to find me. I've been wanting to talk to you. I gotta say, mixed feelings about that. So is this the part where, <clears throat> where you kill me? You have an inflated sense of your importance. To a thing like me, a thing like you, well... Think how you'd feel if a bacterium sat at your table and started to get snarky. He's dead. Good times. Mesorum evoco qui me tetejet. Dean? What the hell? What do you know it worked? I was in the Sudan. What's with yanking me up? Wait, why are you dead? Because I need a favor. Oh, you're kidding. You died to ask me. Tell your boss I need to talk to him. No. Please? Where do you get the nerve? Desperate times. He calls us. We don't call him. You make an exception. I can't. Can't or won't? Both. All right, Tessa. Thank you very much. Hello, Dean. I'm busy, Dean. Talk fast. I have something of yours. You mean my ring? I recall loaning you that temporarily. Well, if you want it back... Then... I'm sorry, you assume that I don't know where you've hidden it. Now we've established you have hubris, but no leverage. What is it you want? Lucifer's cage. I figure you're one of the few people that can actually jailbreak it. Do you? Sam's soul is stuck in that box. I've heard. And our other brother is trapped in there too. Michael wrote him in. Dean, quit shuffling and deal. I want you to get them both out. Hmm. Pick one. What? Te nunc invoco mortem Te in mea potestate defixi. Nunc et in eternum. You're joking. Sorry, Dad. 
This isn't what it seems. Seems like you bound me. For good reason, okay? Just uh, hear us out. Uh, fried pickle chip, uh, the best in the state. That easy to soothe me, you think? This is about Sam's hallucinations, I assume. What? Sorry, Sam. One wall per customer. Now unbind me. We can't. Y yet. This isn't going to end well. We need you to kill God. Pardon? Kill God. You heard right. Your honor. What makes you think I can do that? You told me. Why should I? Because we said so, and we're the boss of you. I mean, respectfully. Amazing. Yes. I didn't want to kill you, but now... You can't kill us. You erased any nostalgia I had for you, Dave. Death is our... We ain't gonna die even if God pulls the trigger. Annoying little protozoa, aren't they? God? You look awfully like a mutated angel to me. Your vessel's melting. You're going to explode. No, I'm not. This is one little planet in one tiny solar system in a galaxy that's barely out of its diapers. I'm old, Dean. Very old. So I invite you to contemplate how insignificant I find you. Eat. Good, isn't it? Well, I gotta ask. How old are you? As old as God. Maybe older. Neither of us can remember anymore. Life, death, chicken, egg. Regardless, at the end, I reap him too. God? You'll reap God? Oh, yes. God will die too, Dean. Well, this is way above my pay grade. Just a bit. So then why am I still breathing? I'm sitting here with you. I mean, what do you want? The leash around my neck. Off. Lucifer has me bound to him. Some unseemly little spell. He has me where he wants, when he wants. That's why I couldn't go to you. I had to wait for you to catch up. Sam's soul, or Adam's. But as a rule, I don't bring people back. I might make an exception once, not twice. So, pick. Sam. His soul has been in there for a year, and I understand that it's damaged. Trifle aid to the raw nerve. Was there any way that you could, uh, I don't know, hack the hell part off? Four, three, two, now. Again? Dean, Dean, Dean. What do you think the soul is? Some pie you can slice? The soul can be bludgeoned, tortured, but never broken, not even by me. Well, there's got to be something. Maybe. I can't erase Sam's hell, but I can put it behind a wall, if you will. A wall? In his mind, a dam to hold back the tide. Nasty, those memories. You don't want to know what they'll do to him. Believe me. Oh, 
Okay, uh, a wall sounds good. But it's not permanent. She's right. Nothing lasts forever. Well, I do. Okay, so that's the choice. Sam with no soul or Sam with some drywall that if or when it collapses, he's done? Yeah. Do it. I never said I'd do it. Well, then what the hell are we even talking about? Your prize. If you win the wager. Great. What's the bet? Don't roll your eyes, Dean. It's impolite. Now, when you fetch my ring, put it on. What? I want you to be me for one day. Are you serious? No, I'm being incredibly sarcastic. Eva, adrenaline. Take the ring off before the 24 hours are up and you lose. No solve for Sam, clear? Okay, yes, but, but why? Simple, Dean, because... <gasps> oh, thank Moses. Oh, couldn't have given me five more seconds. Son, you were gone for seven minutes. I was? Mm -hmm. I thought for sure death had you by the twins. Hello, Sam. I've been waiting for you. Close your eyes. I must admit, when I heard it was you, well, I had to come myself. <laughs> I bet you get off on this. Perhaps but not in the way you assume. I consider it to be quite the honor to be collecting the likes of Sam Winchester. I try so hard not to pass judgment at times like this, not my back, you see, but you. Well played, my boy. I need to know one thing. Yes. If I go with you, can you promise that this time it will be final? That if I'm dead, I stay dead. Nobody can reverse it, nobody can deal it away, and nobody else can get hurt because of me. I can promise that. What the hell are you doing, sir? As you can see, there's not much time. I know. To start it, they fix it. Look at in eternal. Don't tell me that's Kazo. Yeah, yes. Queso and uh, taquitos, tamales, homemade by yours truly. All with the bad fat. Consider it an offering. Fool. I want you to kill me. What I find truly fascinating, Dean. Hmm, that's good is that you and I both know that I've been burned by your Winchesters before, yet you still call. Yeah, I know, but not this time, okay? No games, no second thoughts. I know you know what this is. I know you know what it can do. I've tried to fight it. I've tried to beat it on my own. And I, I can't, I got no moves left, except you. Well, I never thought I'd see the day. My goodness. 
Dean Winchester has tipped over his king. But I won't kill you, Dean. Your death. And that mark on your arm is the first curse. Nothing can kill you. Okay, well, forget killing me. Can you get rid of it? I could. But? Creatio ex nihilo. God created the earth out of nothing, oh. So your Sunday school teacher would have you believe. Well, so Genesis is a lie, eh? Shocker. Before there was light, before there was God and the archangels, there wasn't nothing. There was the darkness. A horribly destructive, amoral force that was beaten back by God and his archangels in a terrible war. God locked the darkness away where it could do no harm. And he created a mark that would serve as both lock and key which he entrusted to his most valued lieutenant, Lucifer. But the mark began to assert its own will, revealed itself as a curse, and began to corrupt. Lucifer became jealous of man. God banished Lucifer to hell. Lucifer passed the mark to Cain, who passed the mark to you, the proverbial finger in the dike. Well, that is just fan freaking tastic, isn't it? So I could remove the mark, but only if you will share it with another to ensure that the lock remains unbroken and the darkness remains bound. I'm not doing that. Not to anyone. What if I told you I could relocate you somewhere far away, not even on this earth, where you'd still be alive, but no longer a danger to yourself or to others? Sid. Well, what's with you and cheap food? I could ask you the same thing. I thought I'd have a treat before I put the ring back on. Heavier than it looks, isn't it? Sometimes you just want the thing off. But you know that. Not hungry. Look, I think you know that I flunked. So there. Oh, by the way, I, uh, I sucked at being you. They screwed up the whole natural order thing, but I'm sure you knew about that, too. So, if you could go back, would you simply kill the little girl? No fuss, no stomping your feet? No, what I know now, yeah. I'm surprised to hear that. Surprised and glad. Yeah, well, don't get excited. I would have saved the nurse, okay? That's it. I think it's a little more than that. Today, you got a hard look behind the curtain. Wrecking the natural order is not quite such fun when you have to mop up the mess, is it? This is hard for you, Dean. You throw away your life because you've come to assume that it'll bounce right back into your lap. The human soul is not a rubber ball. It's vulnerable, impermanent, but stronger than you know, and more valuable than you can imagine. So, I think you've learned something today. I don't know what I think. I think you knew that I wouldn't last a day. I have no idea what you're talking about. I lost, fine. But at least have the balls to admit that it was rigged from the jump. Most people speak to me with more respect. I didn't mean we're done here. It's been lovely. He made me his weapon. Hurricanes, floods, raising the dead. I'm more powerful than you can process, and I'm enslaved to a bratty child having a tantrum. 
Did you think I can unbind you? There's your ridiculous bravado again. Of course you can't. But you can help me take the bullets out of Lucifer's gun. I understand you want this. Yeah? I'm inclined to give it to you. To give it to me? That's what I said. But what about Chicago? I suppose it can stay. I like the pizza. There are conditions. Okay, like? You have to do whatever it takes to put Lucifer in his cell. Of course. Whatever it takes. That's the plan. No, no plan, not yet. Your brother, he's the one that can stop Lucifer, the only one. What you think? I know. So I need a promise. You're going to let your brother jump right into that fiery pit. Well, do I have your word? Okay, yeah, yes. That had better be yes, Dean. You know you can't cheat death. Now, would you like the instruction manual? Hey, Sam. What is this? We need to talk. Whatever you are thinking of doing, don't. There is another way. You don't need to go with him. You don't need to die. Why do you say that? Truth is, when I left, I thought the only way out was my death. Well, I was wrong, Sam. It's yours. What? He's gonna... He's gonna send you into outer space? No, well, he didn't say outer space. This is madness, Dean! Far from it, I'm afraid. No one's asking Hear you. him out! Our conundrum is simple, sir. Your brother cannot be killed, and the mark cannot be destroyed, not without inciting a far greater evil than any of us have ever known. What evil? The darkness. What the hell is that? What does it sound like? Does it sound like a good thing? Even if I remove Dean from the playing field, we're still left with you, loyal, dogged Sam, who I suspect will never rest until he sets his brother free, will never rest until his brother is free of the mark, which simply cannot happen, lest the darkness be set free. Then there was that time you stood me up. You traded my life. I'm willing to live with this thing forever, as long as I know that I and it will never hurt another living thing. This isn't you. This doesn't make any sense. No one makes perfect sense. If you stop thinking about yourself for one damn minute. It's for the greater good. Once you consider that, this makes all the sense in the world. When I finished my work, I'll repair myself. You think you can because you think you're simply under the weight of all those souls, yet? But that's not the worst problem. There are things much older than souls in purgatory, and you gulp those in too. Irrelevant. I control them. For the moment. Wait, oh. Uh, what older things? Long before God created angel and man, he made the first beasts. The Leviathans. Leviathans? I personally found them entertaining, but he was concerned they'd chomp the entire Petri dish, 
So he locked them away. Why do you think he created purgatory? To keep those clever, poisonous things out. Now Castiel has swallowed them. He's the one thin membrane between the old ones and your home. Enough. Stupid little soldier you are. Why? Because I dared open a door that he shut? Where is he? I did a service taking his place. Service? Settling petty vendettas? No. I'm cleaning up one mess after another, selflessly. Quite a humanitarian. And how would you know? What are you, really? A fly swatter? Destined to swat you, I think. Unless I take you first. Really bought his own press, this one. Please, Cass. I know God, and you, sir, are no God. All right, put your junk away, both of you. But call him what you want, just kill him now! All right, fine. Thank you. Should we kick box now? I had a tingle I'd be reaping someone very, very soon. Don't worry, not you. Well, he was in a hurry. But now, I'm going to go to hell to get your brother's soul. Why would you do that for me? I wouldn't do it for you. You and your brother keep coming back. You're an affront to the balance of the universe, and you cause disruption on a global scale. Apologize for that. But you have use. Right now, you're digging at something. The intrepid detective. I want you to keep digging, Dean. So you're just gonna be cryptic, or...? It's about the souls. You'll understand when you need to. Wait. With Sam, is this wall thing really gonna work? Call it 75%. Bobby! Open the door. What happened? Now! Get away from me! feel a little itchy. Do me a favor. Don't scratch the wall. Because trust me, you're not gonna like what happens. Please, don't do this. You don't know. You don't know what'll happen to me. Dean, please. No. 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 Get! 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 Remember when we were in that church, making Crowley human? About to close the gates of hell. Well, you sure as hell were ready to die for the greater good then. Yeah, and Dean, you pulled me back. And I was wrong. You were right, Sam. You knew that this world would be better without us in it. No, 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 wait a second. You're twisting my words here, Dean. Why? Because we, we track evil and kill it? The family business, is that it? Look at the tape, Sam. Evil tracks us. And it nukes everything in our vicinity. Our family, our friends. It's time we put a proper name to what we really are. And we deal with it. Wait a second. We are not evil. Listen, we're far from perfect. But we are good. That thing on your arm, 
is evil, but not you. Not me. I let Rudy die. How was that not evil? I know what I am, Sam. But who were you when you, when you drove that man to sell his soul? Or when you bullied Charlie into getting herself killed? And to what end? A, a, a good end? A just end? To remove the mark no matter what the consequences, Sam, how is that not evil? I have this thing on my arm, and you're willing to let the darkness into the world. You're also willing to summon death to make sure you could never do any more harm. You summoned me because you knew I would do anything to protect you. That's not evil, Dean. That's not an evil man. That is a good man. Crying to be heard, searching for some other way. No, there is no other way, Sam. I'm sorry. Good. Good. Fight. It's time, Sam. Shall we? Hold on. Hey, it's okay, Sam. I, uh, would have brought crow nuts, but time is short, so... By all means. What's going on? I found a plan. It's too late. I'm going. No, 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 listen to me. Why are you even here? I'm not fighting this anymore. You have to fight this. I can fix this. Okay, but not if you shut me out. It's not his time. That's for Sam to decide. Sam, listen to me. I made you a promise. In that church, you and me, come whatever. Well, hell, if this ain't whatever. But you gotta let me in, man. You gotta let me help. There ain't no me if there ain't no you. What do I do? Is that a yes? Yes. Come on. Shut up, Dean. I'm not here to tie your shoes every time you trip. I warned you about those souls how long ago? Long enough to stop that fool, and here we are again with your little planet on the edge of immolation. Well, I'm sorry. All right, I've been trying to save this planet, so maybe you should find somebody better to tip off. Maybe I should spend my effort on a better planet. Well, it's been amusing. Wait, ho hold on, hold on. Just can you give us something? You, you have to care a little bit about what happens to us. You know, I really don't. But I do find that little angel arrogant. Great, let's go with that. Your only hope is to have him return it all to purgatory. Quickly. We need a door. You have everything you need of that lab. Get him to return there and compel him to give up the power. Compel? figure it out but that door only opens in the eclipse and that's over i'll make another 359 sunday morning just before dawn be punctual don't thank me clean up your mess try to bind me again you'll die before you start Nice pickle chips, by the way. <sighs> but you're right. Before you hurt anyone else, you have to be stopped. <laughs> 
at any cost. I understand. <sighs> Do it. <clears throat> Please. Do me the honor. Close your eyes. Save me, close your eyes. Wait. Take these. And one day, when you find your way back, let these be your guide. They can help you remember what it was to be good. What it was to love. <sighs> it's for family you must proceed, Dean. Be what you are, to become what you've become, is a stain on their memory. Do it. Or I will. Forgive me. Fantastic. I think I just killed death. <laughs>